What is going on, everyone? I hope you're all doing really well. Recently, I've been getting a lot of emails about Boise, Idaho, and a bunch about being an a-hole to the state of New Jersey in my videos, I guess. It was like two videos out of 200 or so, and that's what I get the most emails about, those two videos. Let it go, New Jersey. But as far as the Boise emails, most of the time it's Californians wondering if it's worth it to move there. My first reply is always the same thing. It has to be. Half the people I know that left California went to the Boise area. It's kind of starting to be the hot spot for that whole interstate migration type thing these days. In 2017, the Boise metro area grew 3%, making it the number one in the nation. And the job growth came in third, so that's not too shabby. So yes, a lot of people are heading to Idaho state capital of Boise. And there's a reason Boise is growing so fast. It's a great city. I get a lot of stats from Area Vibe, and Boise is the only one of all the cities I've ever seen that doesn't get a D or an F grade in anything. All the stats, all above D and F, C to A's. It's great. In other words, you could pick so many worse places to relocate. But like all places, Boise isn't for everyone. It might not be for you. So before you rent a U-Haul, you should watch my top 10 reasons not to move to Boise. Number 10, other big cities. If you're used to living in states like California or the Seattle area of Washington, this may be a bit of a culture shock to you. If you don't have everything you need in Boise, chances are you're just out of luck. Not like you can drive five minutes over to the next city and get whatever you're looking for, like food, a restaurant, bar, whatever. The nearest major city outside of Boise is Pocatello, Idaho, which is three and a half hours to the east, or you can head down five hours to Salt Lake City. It's not like it's very convenient. This is something a friend brought up to me who moved to Boise about five years ago, I'd say. He said when it's things like a good place to eat Mexican food, this gets into a problem. He said there's several good ones in Boise, so he's lucky. But if there wasn't, you don't have 200 more to choose from, like say, Los Angeles. And he said this goes for other places, like I'd said earlier, restaurant, bars, pizza places. If you don't like what they're selling in Boise, you're kind of out of luck. Number 9. It's cold. Boise is less than 500 miles south of the Canadian border. This means it gets cold. Winter months can see way under 20 degrees and not seeing temperatures above freezing until, say, March or April. And stop typing. Don't give me some one-off stat and claim that I don't know what I'm talking about because it was actually 22 degrees for most of February last year. Something like that. Just stop. <laughs> Number eight, the nipple law. This city takes nipples very seriously. In Boise, it is against the law for a woman to have her nipple exposed. In strip clubs, the dancers have to cover their nipples. And breastfeeding mothers could get a ticket for breastfeeding her child in public. What the hell, Boise? What's a nipple ever done to you? Is this like some law held over from the 1960s when hippies invaded Boise, then, you know, right away realized they were in Boise and left toot sweet? I don't get that one at all. Set the nipple free, Boise. <laughs> Number seven, it stinks. I know I'll get a lot of pushback on this one from the locals. The reason is they're immune to it by now. But Boise smells. From the overflowing sewage plants to the 172 landfills, Boise is bad really bad. The wind shifted on me one summer day in Boise, and my nose got a whiff of what can only be described as a skunk covered in tar eating garlic. Yes, it was that bad. Boise, Idaho may be the worst smelling city in the United States. <laughs> Number six, the airport. The Boise airport is the absolute worst. Okay, that's a lie. It's the second absolute worst. The worst is actually that one in Charleston, West Virginia, Jaeger Airfield. That one's freaking scary to land in and take off from. It's on a mountain. This airport in Boise sees about three million passengers a year. Passengers often complain about the cleanliness, the size of the airport, and the attitude of the staff. According to them, TSA agents are very inefficient and unprofessional by the way they work. And you can't get a straight flight anywhere out out of Boise, except maybe like Vegas and Salt Lake City. You almost feel like you might have to do some crop dusting on your way out. Number five, delusional locals. If you ever want a good laugh, read the comment section of any video I've ever made that includes anything about Idaho. You will see comments that look like this. Nonsense, nonsense liberals, nonsense California, nonsense more liberals, nonsense libertards, nonsense, 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 we don't want you here. And then they use whatever new catchphrases currently in fashion. This month, it's been telling everyone that they're biased. I get it all the time. Briggs, you're showing your bias. If you've ever typed that in the comment section, remember one thing. Everyone on the planet has bias to their point of view. That's just 
just a fact. And stop typing. I'm not a news channel or a journalist. I don't have some professional responsibility to be neutral. I'm just a dude that makes videos and travels. Anyway, basically, they aren't pleased that you have money and can outspend them in real estate. So make sure you have a good real estate agent, a mortgage all lined up, and buy something in Idaho. Anger the locals. Number four, public transportation. Public transportation in the city is the absolute worst. Actually, calling it public transportation is an insult to wagon trains from the 1800s. The city only has a public bus system, which doesn't run after 6 p.m. or at all on Sundays. Unless you work Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, or you have your own way to and from work, you're pretty much screwed and celebrating Shabbos every day you work. Walter doesn't roll on Shabbos. Number three, it's dry. Boise is a very dry city. It's almost desert-like. Not a lot of rain going on here. The most the city gets is about two inches around December, just like my cousin's wife. While all the summer months combined, they'll see as little as a half an inch. It may be a good idea to stock up on the humidifiers if you're moving to Boise. Even though it's cold a good portion of the year, the sun gets a little harsh. This is the type of place you need to have some serious skincare going on, or you'll age quick. Nothing like having a conversation with someone at Starbucks and they ask you how many grandkids you have and you look at him and say, I'm only 24. Number two, it's a red state. Boise is part of a very Republican state. Now, I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just something to keep in mind when you relocate or even visit Boise. Residents here are also not afraid to speak their mind about their political views and not afraid to ask you about yours. Be prepared. Now, I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing. Both parties have their ups and their downs, their pros and their cons, their yins, their yangs. In Boise, Idaho, not many people see it that way. It's Republican or nothing. And number one, air quality. The air quality isn't good in Boise. Since the city is in a valley, the cold air settles while the warm air stays above, trapping the pollution in, making the air toxic for the residents. Now, before you do, stop typing. It isn't the worst in the country, and I get it. It's not as bad as Los Angeles, where every breath is like taking a bong rip off an idling 1972 Mercury Marquis. But for the size of its population, and no other major cities around it to contribute to the poor air quality, it's bad. The city is also growing, at a good rate, which only means it's going to get worse. Air quality is one of the major stats people are looking for when they're thinking about relocating. It's just a fact. All right, so that's my top 10 reasons not to move to Boise, Idaho. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Boise is a really great city. It was hard to come up with legitimate reasons. They have some, but it wasn't easy. It's a good city to move to. That's why people are moving there. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget all the links below. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.